Hey you guys, it's Miriam and welcome back to my channel and we're here for another video. Woo woo. All right you guys, so if you can't tell by the title of this video, we are back with the new Tracy Ellis Ross Pattern Beauty Styling Products. Back when she launched Pattern Beauty back in 2019, she came out with a shampoo, a leave-in conditioner, as well as there's like three different type of um, conditioners, like the medium, there's like a heavy one, and then like a regular conditioner. So this time she launched in June the new styling products. And all of us naturals were like, thank you, Lord, because back then in September, you weren't really able to style your hair, right? Just using shampoo and conditioner and a leave-in conditioner. And so I actually did do a review video and I can link it on the side of this video of me doing a review with the few products that I did buy back then. And so now she has these styling products and I was like, I gotta get my hands on them. However, I um, got the minis. And so I'm gonna show y'all because they're so cute and so many and so fun. So this is the box that it came in. Nothing too fancy, but here's the box. And then it came with the card that has Tracy Ellis Ross on it. She looks so gorgeous there. And then it came with four minis. So the four minis were $29.99, which is not bad compared to some of the bigger items that I bought back in September. So they were like 20 plus dollars per item. And I was like, I honestly felt like the shampoo. So here in the shampoo I bought in September, um, I thought it was okay. It just seemed like any other um, shampoo. It's supposed to be a hydrating shampoo. I also went in and bought the leave-in conditioner in September. This does have um, dimethicone in it. Um, it is towards the end. However, it does have dimethicone in it. I use this as my styler in September. And my curls came out nice. They didn't last that long. Um, and so I was super excited to get my hands on finally the styler. So it comes with four stylers in this mini bundle that I purchased. So we have the styling cream. These are three ounces. So we have the styling cream. And then we have the Stronghold Gel, Slick and Snatched. This name is hilarious to me, Stronghold Gel. <laughs> All right, so here's the Curl Gel. And then we have the Hydrating Mist. So Revive and Replenish. So again, the package is amazing. I love um, the packaging. It's so funny, my daughter just um, told me, this was when I got the products about a week or two ago, that the eye on here with that little mole is Tracy Ellis Ross. You guys never even put two and two together. Like I just thought this is maybe a design she came up with. Didn't even think it was like her mole. Um, and so where's the little card at? Looking at the card, my daughter was like, mom, is that like, is she trying to like represent herself? And I was like, I guess so, didn't even think about that, silly me. So I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> um, I did not catch that, my 10 year old did. So um, yes, but these are the mini products. So today I am just going to use all of the products, demo them for you guys, give you guys my honest feedback. So I just freshly washed my hair with the hydrating shampoo. And so my hair is nice and wet. And again, if you've seen any of my wash and go videos, I normally start in the back and work my way to the front. So this is how I'm gonna do it. The leave-in, I'm gonna start with the leave-in then the curl cream and then a little bit of the curl gel and then at the end i don't think just based off some of the review videos i've seen the stronghold gel i believe is for your edges and so the little edges i do have i'm going to try the stronghold gel for that so that'll be um at the very end of this video and see it's already sectioned into two parts when i shampoo my hair i like to do it in sections so we're gonna just use a little bit of the leave-in. I have about a glob here. And just put it all throughout my hair. New styling products also have, I noticed on the back, they have, um, it's paraben-free, silicone-free, free of SLS and SLES, color safe, formaldehyde, yeah, free. Um, so that's really exciting. Again, it has no silicone. Um, silicone free from these products again the leave-in does have silicone I think she really did listen to us back then um, there was a lot of um, people doing review videos and just kind of making comments in the reviews on their website saying hey you know we're you know this is supposed to be for natural hair why would you put silicone so I feel like they really did listen to the um, customers and audience and so I'm really happy about that it does not have any silicones in these products so that's really exciting so let me know down below if you have 
used any of the Pattern Beauty products before, I would love to know. Would love to love to know. I like the scent. Again, it's very, um, it's more floral-y, if that's a word. I made up word. It's more of a floral, floral e scent to it. Again, lightweight. They all smell the same, so it's not like one product smells different. So here's the little three ounce styling cream. Like, aren't these just so cute, you guys? Oh my goodness, this is like, I almost don't wanna use them because they're just so cute. <laughs> but I'm gonna use them for this video, okay? Okay, so we have this little section back here. I freshly washed my hair, so my hair is kind of damp, but I'm still going to go in with a little bit of the spray bottle water. When your hair is wet, wet, the wash and go comes out pretty, pretty nice, and the curls really pop. Also, I bought the Pattern Beauty brush in September, so I'm going to be using that today to pull the products through. But again, this is just with the leave-in, you guys. Like, that leave-in, like, look at that. I love the leave-in, it's just not a styler, right? And so we're gonna go in with a little bit of the curl cream. It's not super, super thick, but it is nice and creamy, so that's good. And again, these are three ounces, so I'm not being super generous, but I do wanna use enough to make sure I can kind of see if you know the products really work to my hair and give me those bomb results, but hold on, okay. So we're just using a little bit of the curl cream. Then I'm gonna go in with the curl gel. Okay, so I guess I need to open up the lid because it's not a... Or the curl gel. So it's not a clear gel. That feels nice. I'm gonna with the curl cream first and then the gel. I think like I don't need a lot of product or maybe that's just the section I'm working with, but the curls seem really, really clump, which I like. I'm about halfway done and I'm liking the products. I'm really, really liking, again, the consistency of the curling, the styling cream. The jelly is nice as well. I think I don't need to use as much of it. Um, again, it just reminds me of the leave-in conditioner, just a little more liquidy. I'm gonna stick more to using a lot more styling cream and then a little bit, nine size amount of the curl gel. Again, I have not tried the hydrating mist yet. I think I'm just gonna spray that on at the end. Um, but I really, really like my results so far. And I'm liking how the, again, the products layer really nice together. All right, you guys, so I'm back, and here are my final results using the new Pattern Beauty styling products. So I must say, I really, really like using all of the products, but I will say, so after I let it dry completely, this is the next day, I did it yesterday, um, kind of late morning, and so it takes hours to dry, and so I didn't want to wait until like midnight to come back on here and say, okay, here, we're done. So I normally let it sit overnight, dry, and then come back on in the morning. I will say though, like towards the end of the day yesterday, I started getting frizz, a frizz patch kind of in the back of my hair, and a little bit in the front here, um, towards the front, and I was not really happy about that, but I think it was because I started to use less of the curl gel 
it's not the eco styler black castor seed gel a lot of gels just weigh my hair down and there's no value and so i was really hesitant to put a lot of this so i did literally a dime size and i did a lot of the styling cream which is here so i use quite a bit of this um, but I'm not sure if it was just the humidity when I went outside and let it air dry. I don't know, but I had that patch. So I had to re-wet it and apply some more products in those two sections. Um, but I would say I really, really like everything. Again, I've tried Pattern Beauty back in September just with this leave-in. And I think it, my hair came out really great. But again, it didn't last. And so I think the next time I use these products, I'm going to use a lot more of the curl gel. Again, since it is summer, I'm not sure what I was thinking. Just kind of relying more on the styling cream and a little bit of the curl gel out of this collection my favorite probably was the styling cream and the curl gel these two were about my favorite because they pair really nice together i also surprisingly really like the stronghold gel so i used it a little bit for my edges i'm not sure if you can tell here but it's it was actually not as um i guess i was thinking more of like a um custard you know those edge controls that are really um really really thick this was not as thick as i was thinking Here's the consistency. It was not that bad. I was like, okay, I might be able to do my edges another time. Or actually use some of this for the parts that are a little more fuzzier in the back of my hair. Just a little bit glide it through, just so it's a more stronger hold. But I actually surprisingly like the Stronghold Gel. The Hydration Mist, I don't know really what it does. I guess I could spray it on now and see when it's dry, but I don't want my hair to get re kind of wet and damp. So. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll try everything over again. But again, I wanted to give you guys my honest opinions. Um, I really like the products. She did have a clarifying shampoo, which again, for us low porosity girls, I think it would have been great for me to get. I didn't want to get the clarifying shampoo since I had the hydration shampoo. Um, I may get it eventually. I don't know yet. Um, but again, the hydration shampoo was not like a wow shampoo. So I was like, uh, oh, based off of that, I'm not sure if I want to, you know, to spend 20 plus dollars on a shampoo and so again i tried out the products with the bundle and i recommend trying out the bundle um the small minis just to kind of see if your hair really works with the products and for you to test them out before purchasing the bigger um bottles so again i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be alerted every time your girl has a new video on her channel i'll see you guys in the next video peace